Hello, and welcome to another edition of Vinyl Hall here on True Audio Files. If you like what you see, please hit subscribe. And if you want to know exactly when I actually uh, post these new videos, please hit the little bell for the alerts to let you know when I make these new videos. So today we're going to talk about a, a haul that I had in Tampa. I uh, actually went to technically two locations, but the same company. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to Banana Records or Bananas Records in St. Petersburg, Florida. Uh, amazing place. They've got a huge warehouse with supposedly over 3 million records. And then they've got a retail store, which has a ton of used stuff as well. Pretty amazing store. Um, great selection of stuff. You should be able to find a lot of what you're looking for. And I definitely found a lot of what I was looking for and then some. So I'm actually only going to talk about some highlights of what I bought. Believe it or not, these are only the highlights. I actually bought a lot more. So, um, so let's get started. I'm going to start off the first one with this. It's called Strings and Keys on debut. And it's actually uh, Charles Mingus on bass, and uh, I don't remember who is on piano, but uh, I thought that it's pretty cool. It's pretty old, very early Charles Mingus, uh, and I can't wait to check it out. It was a little beat up, but you know, it was, uh, it was cheap enough to where I figured I'd take the chance. So the next is actually several records from one artist, because that's how I'm gonna roll here. Uh, it's from uh, someone called Escoval, which I'm sure many of you have probably heard of. Uh, kind of an acquired taste. He's very lounge sounding. Uh, so if you uh, don't like lounge, then you probably uh, won't like this either. So, but I bought, uh, let's see, five albums of his. We've got uh, Exploring New Sounds in Stereo. Got Infinity in Sound. We got Other Worlds, Other Sounds, which that could be interesting. Uh, Infinity and Sound Volume 2, and then Latin Ask. Uh, what I really like about his albums are most of them, uh, they kind of really does some great experimentation with stereo, and that's really kind of the appeal for me. Uh, you know, this, this, the music, eh, sometimes I can take it or leave it, but it, it's, it's kind of cool anyways, so um, that's kind of why I, I kind of led towards getting it, and uh, it's just fun music. Next, uh, I have some from The Police. Uh, this one is uh, Ghost in the Machine, and this is actually on Nautilus Super Discs, which these are kind of an audio file label uh, release, half speed mastered to get the best sound quality out of, uh, out of the tapes. And uh, this one is in near perfect condition, and I got a really good deal on it. The next ones are all from the police as well, but this one is uh, Synchronicity, but it's different varying covers. Um, I have probably eight or nine of the other covers. My understanding is I think there's a, like 34 uh, different color variations and picture variations on this album. So it should be interesting to see if I can collect all of them. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go too crazy on trying to find all of them because I know there's a couple that are super ultra mega rare. So probably won't get all of them. <laughs> Next artist is Kiss. What's really cool about this one is this is actually a German pressing because it's got the Kiss with uh, the funky S's on it instead of the standard S's. Uh, never seen one of these out in the wild uh, and I just couldn't resist when I saw it and it was in pretty decent condition. So I actually can't wait to hear it because my, uh, my experience with German pressings is they tend to sound better than most American pressings. So we'll see what happens with this one. I'm very excited to try to check it out though. Next one is Kiss Destroyer. Now, the only thing that's really significant about this one is it's a promo copy. So on the inside on the label, it's in really small print. On the inner label, it actually says from promotional use only. So it's kind of cool. Next one is Schools Out by Alice Cooper. Now, this is a first pressing, or at least an early pressing. I'm not 100% sure if it's first, but I don't have a ton of knowledge on first pressing, second pressing on, on this particular one. But what I do know is it has the panties still in it. <laughs> now, what I did find out later after doing some research is supposedly 
this also comes with a report card and unfortunately this one did not have the report card and I don't know if I've ever seen one with the report card in it still so next up is Thin Lizzy this one is really cool I had never actually seen this one before um, out in public and they actually had several copies so what was really great about that is I could go through and find my favorite copy of it and make sure that uh, I got one that was in just the best possible condition so uh, we'll have no issues in playback and have a bare minimum of any crackles and pops if any so very excited to listen to this one because I've actually never heard this LP so should be fun one to kind of expand my funk collection is Par uh, Parliament and uh, I don't even want to pronounce it but it's a it's pretty cool I've seen it out a few times but most of the time when you see Parliament or Funkadelic records they're usually really beat to hell and uh, just not something you'd want to be able to try to play but this one was in near perfect condition so I had to jump on it. it's pretty cool next one is the first release by Uriah Heep it's kind of an early uh, release of it. Um, I've heard a lot of great things about this record as kind of being one of the early um, heavy metal albums or something that would be classified as heavy metal. You know, kind of came out close to the same time as Black Sabbath's first album. Um, heard some great, great uh, things about it. I'm very excited to hear what it's going to sound like. Next one is Elvis Costello. And this is Armed Forces. Now, what makes this one special is this is a British, a UK printing, which or pressing, I should say, which um, from everything I've been told and heard, uh, when you want uh, most of Elvis Costello's albums, you kind of want the UK pressings because they're going to tend to sound better. So I'm hoping that's the case with this. This has an interesting uh, back to it, though. It's uh, kind of a, opens up like a, a unsealed envelope, so it's kind of interesting. So it's kind of excited to see that that was kind of cool so very excited to see that one out in the open this one uh i already have a ton of copies of this but every time i see it out in the air and out in the open uh, i have a hard time resisting getting it especially if it's a not a terrible price so and that one is rolling stones some girls now what makes this one special though is that uh basically the first pressings had Faces of like Lucille Ball and Marilyn Monroe, I think. Yeah, Marilyn Monroe's right here. And a few others. And uh, when they all caught wind uh, that they were on this cover, they sued to be removed from the, the, uh, the inner, well, it was kind of the inner sleeve. Because if you look at these, if you open it up, you pull it out. So this is the inner sleeve. So you can see several actresses and stars in here. Uh, I think Lucille Ball, like Liza Minnelli. And then you've got this one that has, again, Marilyn Monroe, uh, Lucille Ball. So they all basically sued the Rolling Stones for using their likenesses on an album without their permission. So later copies and current copies now all basically have those um, blue, they have like blue or some other color um, replacing that that photo and saying something like please pardon our appearance or something like that but um, what I really liked about this one too which I should probably bring it back up is it also has the hype sticker on it uh, shrink wrap still and still has a Peaches Records uh, price on it of $4.99 so uh, kind of a fun fun one it's uh, the only one I have that has a hype sticker and uh, I think it might be the only one that I have that's still in shrink wrap too so pretty cool all right, next one is Johnny Cash. Now, I bought a bunch of Johnny Cash. A lot of them were cool because they set, were some old Sun records, Johnny Cash releases. But this one was pretty interesting. This one's called The Junkie and the Juice Head Minus Me. I thought it looked pretty intriguing, and I've never seen this one before. But it's also got um, performances by June Carter and Roseanne Cash and Carlene and Rosie, which I guess are his daughters as well. Um, so I'm pretty uh, interested to hear what this one sounds like. I have no idea. I don't think I've heard any of the songs on this before, so it could be pretty interesting. And it's an early pressing. It's got pictures of his uh, his wife. 
uh, Roseanne Cash, and this is when she was pretty young. This is before she had her own rec recording career, too. So, and the other two daughters, who I don't really know very well. So, be interesting to see what, uh, what that's going to be like. So, the last one, which I'm probably the most excited about, is one of my favorite albums of all times. And I found a mo-fi pressing of it. It's David Bowie Let's Dance. So, original master recording. Uh, the thing is in pristine condition, just perfect. And what I really like about the Mobile Fidelities, especially the older ones, is they used a special vinyl. They were printed in Japan, or pressed in Japan, I should say. Used a special process, a special vinyl that is super, super quiet. So even the surface noise that's on it is really quiet, and it's, uh, it's pretty awesome. So I'm really looking forward to hearing this one. I, uh, uh, I try to pick up Mobile Fidelities whenever I can, like you probably saw in one of my previous episodes, if you've watched them at all, is that I picked up the Rolling Stone box set as well uh, from Mobile Fidelity. And I've actually had a chance to listen to that one, and I would say overall most of those just sounded just spectacular. So, and I'm hoping the same from this. All right, so that ends this episode of Vinyl Hall from True Audio Files. Again, if you like what you see, please subscribe. Please hit the alert button so you know when I make, release new videos. And I look forward to talking to you again. Goodbye.